Live from the Fashion and TV studios, it's In the News with Fashion and News Desk. Thank you, Chris. I'm Lisa Kleinhandler, Editor-in-Chief at Fastener News Desk. It's in the news the week of June 27th, 2022. In Fastener Industry Acquisition News, Nefco, a family-owned and operated construction supply company, is expanding its reach to the Midwest with the acquisition of Jiffy Fastening Systems, headquartered in Lexington, Kentucky. This is NEFCO's sixth acquisition since 2017. Founded in 1967, Jiffy supplies a breadth of product to mechanical, electrical, plumbing, and HVAC contractors throughout Kentucky, Ohio, and Indiana. And Entries International, a fastener distributor located in Brilliant, Wisconsin, has purchased Storeroom Fasteners, a 38-year-old business based in Montgomery, Alabama. Financial terms were not disclosed. Company president Steve Endries said in a statement that Endries is thrilled to welcome Storeroom Fasteners into our family. Tim has built an organization that mirrors what Endries was and is. The methodology and the approach both companies follow is very consistent. We look forward to working with our new team members to improve our overall market offerings. And registration is now open for the 41st edition of the International Fastener Expo, which takes place in Las Vegas, Nevada, October 17th through the 19th. The International Fastener Expo is the largest B2B expo of industrial fasteners and tooling and machinery in North America. Since 1981, the event continues to bring together the manufacturers and master distributors of fasteners and other related products and services with distributors and sales agents in the entire supply and distribution chain. Make sure to register by June 27th to save with the early bird discount rate. And IFE exhibitors with more than 300 companies already registered, space is running out to exhibit at this year's expo. Don't miss your opportunity to make an impact at the largest B2B expo for fasteners, tooling, and machinery. This year is going to be bigger and better than ever, and Fastener News Desk is looking forward to awarding the Best Booth Award winners. With the title and the ultimate six pound championship customized belt, you're going to want to show off and brag about this for years to come. Go to fasteneshows.com to book your space and get registered today. And in fastener news, congratulations to Nick Roots, president of AIS. He's been elected as the 2022 through 2023 president of the National Fastener Distributor Association. All Integrated Solutions is an MSC company. In 3D printing news, Fastener News Desk has special coverage of groundbreaking research in bolt manufacturing, utilizing additive manufacturing from the University of Limerick in Ireland. Their School of Engineering has successfully manufactured 316L stainless steel bolts that meet or exceed specifications. They felt that the gap between how aerospace bolts have been designed and produced over many decades could be optimized employing the advantages offered by AM technology. Read all about it at Fastener News Desk. New leadership announcement from the young fastener professionals. Mallory Cravens Nichols of Advanced Components has been elected the 2022 through 2023 president of the Young Fastener Professionals. Craig Beatty of B West Fasteners will serve as the vice president. And Jake Glazer of Shirex Fastening Solutions will remain on the board as the immediate past president. The YFP board is currently laying the groundwork to provide YFP involvement and support in all areas of the industry. If you are interested in volunteering, mentoring, or being added to the YFP email list, contact the nfda-fastener.org for more information. 
In fastener news from from abroad, the EFDA Assembly of Delegates elected Andreas Bertaggia of Bossard as new president of the EFDA. The European Fastener Distributor Association was formed in 2000 to represent the interest of fastener importers and distributors throughout Europe. Andreas Bertaggia is the vice president and head of global supply chain at Bossard Group based in Switzerland. He's been a member of the Assembly of Delegates since 2019 and a leader of the EFDA task force. Fastener industry scholarships that are open um, from the Women in the Fastener Industry Association is offering two great scholarship opportunities. Wi-Fi is honoring the member of memory of Anne Bisguyer Wolves, co-publisher of the Fastener Industry News, with a scholarship for an opportunity to become a certified fastener specialist with the Fastener Training Institute. Deadline for your application is tomorrow, June 28th. And Wi-Fi honors the memory of Joanne Goodman Sherman, co-owner of Industrial Rivet and Fastener with the Joanne Sherman Thors e-learning scholarship, which is currently accepting applicants. Your application deadline is July 1st. For more information about these great Wi-Fi scholarships, go to FastenerWomen.com. And in Fastener event news, save the dates August 21st through the 26th for the Midwest Fastener Association's Fastener Week. Get involved in a charity bed building event that benefits the Sleep in Heavenly Peace organization, plus a Fastener seminar, golf outing, and lots more networking opportunities. Register today at mwfa.net. And the Fastener Training Institute's Fastener Training Week will take place August 22nd through the 26th in Chicago. The Advanced Technical Training Program is offered in partnership with the Industrial Fastener Institute, and it's for fastener distributors, manufacturers, and end users. Fastener Training Week will be hosted by the Midwest Fastener Association and will offer five intensive days of education and plant tours as part of the FTI Certified Fastener Specialist Advanced Technical Training Program. Attendees will be eligible for the Certified Fastener Specialist designation. And the International Fastener Expo Hall of Fame will recognize professionals who have made a significant and enduring contribution to the fastener industry. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the IFE Fastener Hall of Fame Awards. Who do you think should be honored with this prestigious award this year? To nominate, go to fasteneshows.com. Your submission for nominations is July 30th. The stories we have featured in this week's episode of In the News can be found at Fastener News Desk or in our Twitter feed at Fastener News or on LinkedIn in the Fastener News Group. This week's episode has been sponsored by Product Genius Technology. Enhance your website customer experience with the best view for industrial product search. Product Genius Technology services also include data cleaning and preparation, consultation, and strategizing. Contact productgeniustechnology.com or call 1-800-FASTENERS to find out how to get started today. If you'd like to share your company's events, news, or sponsor an upcoming episode of In the News, or you'd like to add to the Fastener Museum, contact me, Lisa, at fastenernewsdesk.com. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of In the News with Fastener News Desk. Until next week, be well, be safe, and keep it fascinating.